all that the other player is figuring it out, they'll mix it up first so that they're constantly guessing. Aqua loves this breezy. Oh my goodness. There's a reason why he loves the breezy. Here we go. Guys, we have got another great matchup. Game number two of the next gen. We have got Aqua versus Wiz. We just saw Wiz play against Azap in a very hotly contested matchup, despite somewhat of a comfortable win for Wiz. Wiz, a very high level player. We just looked up what he was rated right now on the leaderboard. Number five in North America makes him number 11 in the world. He is gonna get the first goal of this game. Aqua showing up a little bit late to this one. Uh, had a time zone mishap, it turns out. Thought when I said 9 p.m., I meant my time. Now, that would be super, super late his time. Assuming he's Eastern time, that would be 11 for him. But he was down to play, which is cool. Anyways, he's here. Didn't realize his game was still going to happen when he showed up just a little bit late. But here we are doing it. Wiz is going to score a second. Aqua, of all the guys in the tournament, is the least one's main of them all. Daniel, Dries, obviously a couple guys who are really, really good at threes, just like Aqua is, kind of like maining the other modes. Uh, but they're also super, super good at ones. Wiz has been given crap for being a little bit of a ones main, despite the fact that he would disagree with you uh, very publicly, that just because he's good at ones doesn't mean he's not good at everything else. But Aqua has moved his way into the top 100 before. But definitely not pushing to the top 10 and staying in it like a guy like Wiz, Daniel, Drees, Mo, Leaks. Basically, almost everybody other than, than Zap and, and Aqua have been pushed into the top 20. Uh, Zap is honestly pushed into the top 20, so it, it might just be Aqua. Now, Aqua is a great player. Don't get me wrong. He is a very popular player, too, both on Twitch. I think he's got a TikTok that's very popular. But one's not necessarily his forte, but the kind of player that could show up at any moment. Looks like he's going to get his first goal of this 1v1. When he focuses on it, he is absolutely one of the best players there is. Clout loves you, and I love you as well. Thank you for the follow. Aqua off the corner. Flip reset. Perfectly grabbed, but... Could not keep his car behind Wiz. A great early challenge. And Aqua needed to grab a better 50-50 than he did. It is not going to surprise me to see a very aerial based game from Aqua. Nice air dribble. It's the change in speed here is the reason why Aqua gets this goal. He pops it up high and he starts it off in a place where he can threaten anything. He can take it down for a flip reset. He could take it low. He could try and push it up. He basically has all the options in the world, and he then chooses to speed the ball up very considerably to the point where Wiz is now out of position. Where Wiz was defending was not necessarily the wrong spot. I mean, it might have looked like Wiz just didn't stay under it enough, but that was because of a very good play by Aqua to make the adjustment to punish the way that Wiz was playing defense. What a play to get back to this ball off the wall, but it's not going to do much for him if he just drops it over to Aqua. Aqua trying to stay on top of the ball. Wiz beats him to it, but a good read. And he takes his opportunity to have a free dribble. Nice catch and good cut. Oh my goodness, Aqua. A great ground play from Aqua as he's starting to work his way back into this game. Looking for the breeze. He realizes the moment is not there. Cuts it in field and drops it behind the defender. My goodness. Aqua with the third. Not doing it a moment too soon. Giving himself a lot of time to come back. This last goal in the next three minutes. Took him a little bit to get going here. We just saw him playing a ranked 3v3 match right before this. So maybe not in the mindset of ones yet as he started the match. But getting into it a little bit more as the game goes on. Halfway through, he is going to be down one. High arcing shot. Wiz should be able to handle this very easily. A very talented player on the back wall. Aqua has convinced him to give up control of the ball though. But at the cost of a lot of his boost. Wiz, a nice possession play. Aqua deciding to go back out to the corner. Thinks he's got time to grab boost. Wiz, an air dribble bump, and it won't be an air dribble bump, but it's good enough. Aqua stays glued to the ground. Not a bad play when you create this much separation like Wiz just did. The air dribble bump 
is certainly a good play for a defender who's trying to play defense waiting on the back line. And that is why... Oh, that's a good point. I haven't even mentioned how old these guys are. Uh, that is why, you know, you don't want to give so much space to the offender. Nice long shot for Aqua. Inogod is pointing out the fact that I haven't even mentioned that this is next gen. These guys are younger than 15 years old. Uh, none of them can play in the official Salt Mine 1v1 tournaments as far as I'm aware because they're Psionic sponsored. And I'm sure there's some legal, you know, 15 year old deal where they can't legally pay someone or have an employee. Be I, I don't know what it is. I'm sure it's something weird like that. But they don't let under 15 year olds play in their official tournaments. But some of these guys are the best of the best players and they're younger than that. Aqua and Wiz, they're both 14 year olds. We've had Aqua play on the stream once before about a year ago. Uh, during the nice, the last Fear 500 season one, he didn't play in it, but he played during it, if that makes sense. Just a game in between some other ones uh, against Daniel. Both of them were 13 at the time. And now Aqua is back again, 14 years old, this time playing for some money instead of just a friendly game against Daniel as he is trying to finish in the top two of his pool and make it to the semifinals and have a chance at some money. Right now, though, he has not been able to make his way fully back into the game. He has worked himself down one and has stayed within it ever since then, but hasn't been able to get that last bit. A great possession for him, though, and a nice Daniel dribble all the way from his own half. These youngsters are so good at it. Nice pull off the ball. Aqua, a great fifth goal. We call this the Daniel dribble, but we probably shouldn't. There's probably better names for it. I've said it a million times before. Daniel was the first to really popularize it, grabbing that back corner boost, initiating an air dribble right from inside the corner and taking it all the way down the field was just something that a lot of players weren't doing. It wasn't very viable one's play, but ever since Daniel so consistently would hit great goals from it, we've seen it much, much more often on the stream. And Aqua, trying to take that late 50, ended up just getting a free open shot because Wiz missing the ball. That being said, all while we explain that last play, Wiz gets a free kickoff goal, and now, once again, a one-goal lead. Aqua erasing the deficit. Immediately, it's back. 30 seconds left to go. Oh, no. Aqua feeling the pressure of time, likely. Thought he needed to go up for that one, but Wiz, a massive boost advantage. Very, very easy for him to tap it over. So, 24 seconds left to go. Wiz getting a little bit of separation. And it seems like the difference in this game, well, maybe including the last few goals here, is also going to be those first four. Wiz started off this match up 4-0. Since then, it was like kind of a 5-1 run for Aqua. And then now the momentum has switched back again. Wiz is finishing it off with a few goals to really secure the win, make it look a little bit closer than it was in the last few moments there. Can he get this ninth one on the 50? No, he can't. Aqua, nice boost deal. But too little too late. Aqua, maybe the clip of the match, but not the game win. As Wiz will go up in game one, one to zero. Wiz versus Aqua. Game number two. Wiz winning game number one, taking it off of a very dominant first couple minutes or maybe first minute and then a very dominant last minute aqua controlling the middle of the game maybe a little bit of a warm-up for ones for aqua might see a different play from him the entirety of this game number two almost a nasty read off the side wall he had to continue it i mean that, that was just a little bit greedy it was very mechanically impressive to get back to that ball after that very tough bounce off the post but he needed to kill it on the wall, and he ends up pitching it out to midfield, which couldn't be more of a direct pass for Wiz. Nice kickoff. This is the way Wiz is seemingly going to break down Aqua. In lots of situations, they seem like equal competitors, but so far, Wiz has dominated the kickoff, something that 1v1 players frequently do in a 1v1 setting. And has also punished Aqua for being a little bit overly mechanical, a little bit overly greedy. Uh, this backwards kickoff not going to work for Aqua either. He's trying to mix it up, find something that does work against Wiz. 
But it will be a 3-0 so far for Wiz, starting off the same way that game number one started. Nice demo from Aqua. A power shot and a first. Aqua this time only going to let Wiz have three unanswered ones before he grabs his first. I mean, the backwards dribble. We saw Wiz end one of those games against Azap with a backwards dribble, but I'm not sure it's super viable. The only player I've ever seen make it legitimately viable at any level was Mile. Mile was doing those backwards dribbles for the longest time, and while he still wasn't ultra effective with them, he at least made them not complete memes, and that's hard enough to do in itself. Aqua, another fake breezy. He did it before. This time, not a favorable 50. A well-timed challenge from Wiz. Ooh, Wiz kind of faking taking that ball back into his half and then deciding to shoot instead. Aqua needing to pick up every last bit of pads. Oh, Wiz, almost as if he heard me in chat, wants to show that he can hang with a backwards dribble. A great backwards flick. Really, really, really well placed. But, I mean, Aqua's a good defender, and he will get his second. So, hard to say whether or not he got scored on because he went for that backflip shot or not. More like he got scored on from that greedy fake challenge there, trying to get back to the ball. But a nasty shot from Wiz. Will not go in, and Aqua gets his second. So three minutes left to go. Aqua in this game much faster than it took him to get into it uh, in game number one. But being in it is only the first part. Oh, my goodness. Aqua just leaving the net wide open. I don't know why he went for... I'm not sure what was going on there. I'm going to watch Aqua's perspective for a second. Oh, he just like... I don't know. The, that boost in the corner wasn't even there. Wiz has got to restart after this one. Aqua, quick tap. Can't get that corner boost, though. Or, sorry, that sidewall boost. So, forced back into his own half. Wiz, a very awkward breezy. Couldn't connect, so decides to pull out of it. Aqua, much cleaner breezy, but Wiz there to save it away. Wiz set up off the backboard. Flip reset, or looked like he was going to take it off the backboard until he killed it with his wheels. Aqua has a potential long shot. There it is. Buckets for... Probably the fan favorite, maybe other than Daniel. Halfway through this game, Aqua down four to three. Needs to be start. Needs to start making plays off of kickoff situations because Wiz has fully controlled them, and it's basically impossible to win a one v one match when you can't at least equalize the kickoffs. Aqua almost with the outplay deep in Wiz's half, but a low boost Wiz. Oh my goodness, great fake and great air dribble. Wiz with the bounce dribble right into position, faking the flick and then so quick on the recovery back down to the ground to take that right up to the top shelf. Even if Aqua had gotten a little bit of a touch on that, Wiz was going to be able to 50 it away. Wiz mixing it up, throwing in the first fake kickoff. Trying to stay one step ahead. We see that from time to time from the players who are dominating the kickoffs and maybe start to smell that the other player is figuring it out. They'll mix it up first so that they're constantly guessing. Aqua loves this breezy. Oh my goodness. There's a reason why he loves the breezy. Holy cow, the power he gets off this. It's kind of like a delayed. He cancels it for a moment, it looks like. And then lets it continue almost as if he's charging up the power, it seems. And he perfectly slaps it top shelf. My goodness, what a shot from Aqua. He cannot get this kickoff goal, though. So once again, Wiz with the first possession of kickoff. His breezy is saved away. Aqua was a centimeter away from landing on that back wall. And if he did, it would have been a very, very easy counter. But, oh my goodness, Aqua's setups with these breezies, it's like, I don't know, it's like, I'm trying to think of an analogy. It's basically like it is for all of us dribbling the ball on top of our car. So easy, so consistent, we can do it every time. Apparently, Aqua...
lives and breathes breezy setups because he just does whatever he wants with those. They look very, very secondhand to him. That being said, it will cost him a goal. Not always necessarily the play that needs to be made. And uh, an awkward defense. Oh my goodness, Wiz trying to fake Aqua out instead of just taking his open net. Gives Aqua time to recover and get a save. Ooh, just barely touching that one. Wiz gonna have a really hard time wrapping that one around. Aqua, nerves of steel, playing with very, very low boost. Wiz had him beat, but needed to stay grounded. And he did exactly that. Now Wiz the other way. Not sure Aqua knows how low Wiz boost is because he might want to challenge him earlier if he knew. But a great flick from Wiz for a 7th. 30 seconds left to go. Aqua was trying to... Oh, yeah, he's got loads of boost. Playing very, very passive on the goal line. Let's Wiz shoot high. And a 7th for Wiz. 26 seconds left to go. You're more impressed by how consistently they hit the ball. If you're that consistent, you wouldn't need to breezy air dribble. Very, very true. But the problem is that the player they're playing against is equally as consistent. 7-4... Wiz stealing away this high tap as if he uh, is completely inside Aqua's head. Aqua chance for one last clip to end this game number two. Looks like he's not going to be able to get it. Oh, maybe not. Let me take that back. Guys, never, 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 never count Aqua out. He will get a nice double tap to end this game by two. Very nice touch. Aqua leaving the game. I guess we can uh, hop out of this match as well and wait for them to hop back in. Wiz the Greek. <laughs> Here we go. Game number three. Oh, I didn't I didn't update the score. I will in a second. Wiz the Greek going to change his Steam name. Has to throw the advertisement in. You know, mogul moves, you might say, if you like uh, watching Ludwig. Great. Not really breezy setup, but musty to get his first here. We'll let you guys watch it, and then I'll quickly update the score. Great fake. Man, that was actually nasty. Faking the arrow shot and turning around and making the musty instead. Wiz one goal away, or not one goal away. No, it's not true at all. One game away from ending this as a 3-0. Game differential, very important. If it comes down to tiebreakers, game differential will be what's deciding that tiebreaker. Aqua going to have a very couple crucial games today. Wiz... Might be guaranteeing a playoff spot potentially with the two wins he gets today if he does finish out this last win. He will have to play Jerez. At the very least, he'd be playing for uh, seeding and a better semifinal matchup to get himself closer to the money. Aqua, nice long shot for his second. Oh my goodness, he just everything's a musty for him. The man only knows how to musty. Wiz. Dropping it low. Trying to go for the low 50-50. We actually haven't seen these guys taking the low 50-50 option too often so far. This time it will work for Wiz. Not immediately, but on the continuation as Aqua goes flying by. Mando saying Wiz is stomping through, but Aqua able to stay in the beginning of each of these games, but Wiz seems to be a second half kind of player. Aqua will get a, maybe one of the first leads, to be fair. He's had all series. He started off both games down multiple goals, ended up making him close at some point during the game. Aqua with the wave dash kickoff. I think that's the first time we've seen him go for that, and that might be a nice mix-up. Uh, against a player who has been kind of destroying him on the kickoffs. What a save for Aqua. And that actually might even be a fourth goal. No, just a little bit too poor of an angle for Aqua. If it had gone to the other post where he would have been able to get to it first, he could have had a fourth. Nice delayed touch here. Trying to bait Wiz into making a mistake. Oh my goodness, Wiz, you needed that third goal. Holy cow, Aqua is counting his lucky stars. And there's a lot of them here at Beckwith Park. He got way caught up inside of Wiz's net. Absolutely was not back to make the play, but Wiz just missing off the post, and eventually Wiz will score on a nice bounce dribble power shot 
to the far post. Aqua can't get there in time. So once again, tie back up. Aqua electing to grab boost over maintaining ball control and it's going to earn him a demo on Wiz, but he wasn't able to get that corner boost. Might not need it though. Could not rush the ball fast enough. But now boost advantage and Wiz on the back line. Nice 50, but the ball too high. Aqua not able to take an immediate power shot and oh no. That missed touch on that bounce dribble might have been the difference there. Had to wait for one more bounce after he missed it and the power shot from that far away is easy enough to save. These guys playing chicken so frequently. Nice dribble from Aqua and trying to get the bump to finish it off. He needs to be setting up these dribbles a little bit closer to the net. This is not the first time he has attempted a long dribble. Nice shot from Wiz. A great musty. This is the game of the musties, the matchup of who has the better musty flick. Oh, that is beautiful as he puts it top shelf behind Aqua. Wiz, a teeny mistake on the kickoff. Not grabbing that boost. It'll get back to it, though. Aqua trying to hold on to every last bit of his 65, and it works out. Wiz going to give him lots and lots of space. Once again, Aqua. Oh, my goodness, dude. This is insane. Does Aqua have the best breezy in the game? Is there anybody who can hit a breezy this nice? Or like, oh, my gosh, dude. He hits it. It's like, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I've never seen someone look that confident with that move. That is not easy. It is not easy to get that much power, that much accuracy, that much consistency with that shot. That is a very hard shot. Aqua makes it look like it's just another power shot. It's just another option in his arsenal and he can do it at any moment. That is not the way that that mechanic works. There are lots of very, very good players who miss that every now and again or at the very least, they don't put it perfectly where they want, or maybe they don't get 100 kilometers of per hour of power every time they do it. But Aqua is getting that every single time. And finally, he is getting some kickoffs to go his way. This kickoff out to midfield, he's going to take a low 50 to get a sixth. So a couple gold lead late into the game. This is the first time he's held a lead with this much time left to go. And oh man, this has just got to eat at your soul the way Wiz gets these kickoff goals. Even when Aqua got his, he had to earn it with that low 50. Wiz has been getting the same exact kickoff goals on those diagonal, or not diagonal, but slight offset kickoffs where he pushes the ball to the left and then gets an easy tap in. He's had three or four of those. So there's probably something Aqua needs to adjust on those kickoffs. Maybe at least try and make Wiz score him on the other side wall instead of just letting him have that left side over and over and over again. Nice defense from Aqua, though. And Wiz kind of went all in for that. So a great opportunity for Aqua. Oh, my goodness. Oh, th thank the Lord that Aqua finally didn't get 1,600 million kilometer per hour boomer off of one of his musties. The man is human. Flick from midfield. Oh, Wiz playing off the side wall. Usually much easier to get up in the air when you're driving up the wall than the person who's trying to play it from the ground. And it turns out being exactly that way. Risky challenge for Aqua, who was up one. Not been able to hold on to these leads because, honestly, of his less 1v1 main tendency. I'm not sure we see these guys who play that much ones going up in the air for that high of a save in a situation where they have a lead. But a great save from Aqua, now going the other way. A great air dribble, and Wiz actually gave him an opportunity to score, and Aqua will take it. A nice flip reset. But Wiz, as he jumps into the corner here, he is leaving the open opportunity. Aqua not sure whether or not he's gonna take immediate air dribble to that far post. Depends on how Wiz tries to save it, but when Wiz dives all the way into the corner, that is Aqua's cue to just rush it far post as fast as he can. And it seems like there's no better player to do it the way he got that flip reset and put it far post. He's up late, 30 seconds left to go, but Wiz has been able to eat away every single time. Will he be able to do it again for a full 3-0 sweep? Aqua, insane air dribble, flip reset, and an eighth for Aqua. Aqua has, I mean, oh my goodness. This is the kind of play style that is so fun to watch, so risky, but when it works, 
it is just amazing. It is quite the 1v1 experience when Aqua is hitting. Aqua, nice tap. Every bit of time that he wastes in this game number three could be enough to secure it. And Wiz all the way back into his own half. 10 seconds, it's not over. A nice 50. Wiz has scored immediate kickoff goals so many times this series. I'm sure he is not afraid of having to do it again. But the time will fully tick off. So Aqua not getting swept will get his first win, but has a big road ahead of him. Come on, Fear. Here we go. Wiz the Greek versus Aqua. What a performance from Aqua in game number three. Truly an insane performance from him. The problem, it seems like we're going to need to see another godlike performance to take Wiz down. Wiz is playing so consistently, so well. Aqua has a need to pull out you know, one of the better 1v1 games we've seen just to take him down. Nice air dribble from the corner. And Wiz will get the first of this game number four. A great catch and carry. Aqua not able to get the read on that play fast enough. Cannot retreat in time. Wiz. Trying to take control of these kickoffs again in game number four like he's done so well. Aqua tapping to the corner. Putting himself up against that ball as soon as he can to make sure that Wiz does not take it away. Nice touch. And Aqua, can the man score without doing a musty? Who knows? But another great setup. He's so good at canceling it. He, this is what makes a player great at a mechanic like this. He knows when to bail on it. He knows when... The musty is not the play anymore, and he needs to just cancel it and turn it into an air dribble, and he does it so perfectly. Wiz gets the slight save, but Aqua able to finish the play, and he's going to lose his life here. Should be an easy touch for a player as good as Wiz. Not a bad spawn for Aqua, but not good enough. Aqua, oh no, that hurts, man. Wizard made a mistake and basically left Aqua with a wide open net, but he did not take the 50. Oh no, instead it's gonna go the other way. It's gonna be so hard to forget this moment if this game ends up being close. Wiz tapping one out where Aqua could take what seemed like a very free open net and instead not able to score and then ends up giving away a goal the other way to Wiz to go up 3-1 and now 4-1 with the next kickoff. What could have been a lead for Aqua, or I should say at least a tie game for Aqua, has gone completely the other way. Wiz, a weak flicked. Aqua able to get a save high, and I think he might have the boost advantage. Set himself up at the top of his net to try and make a save. Wiz in a really awkward spot. Aqua loves to air dribble it to beat him out, and a nice threaten of the dribble, or sorry, the bump, I should say, gets him that second. Three minutes, 13 seconds left to go. Aqua, oh my goodness, can he pull this one online? Flip reset, oh no. When you don't get the acceleration on it that you need, you usually end up getting scored on the other way, but a great recovery. Both these guys sitting with very, very low boost, and I think they know it, but Wiz, the first to grab 100. We've seen a couple weak flicks from Wiz now near that goal line. Aqua going for that flip reset, a little bit too low to the ground. Not able to turn it into anything. These guys trading back and forth. Possession, neither one of them really taking a good strike on net. That was the first real shot we've seen and definitely not a good enough one as Wiz will take it back the other way. Aqua maybe just getting a little impatient. Wanted to see a shot on net before it was too long. 
and uh, ended up putting in a weak one that Wiz can very easily tap away. Halfway through this game, 5-2. Aqua not been able to pull back a win from a Wiz lead. Has to do it right now. Life on the line in this first match of the next gen for him. Couldn't hurt to even just pull another game off of Wiz. Every game matters, especially in those tiebreaker situations. We had a tiebreaker, a three-way tiebreaker. Uh, no, a two-way tiebreaker, I should say. So maybe maybe that's not interesting in the Fear 500, but only the top two move on from pool play this time around, not all three. We are really trying to incentivize winning every game you possibly can in pool play. Wiz, the 50 outside the net of Aqua. Not going to cut it. Great defense from Aqua. This is the first time, I was about to say this is the first time that Aqua has not tried to milk the air dribble all the way to the net. It seemed like he was going to let it come to the ground and make a play from there, which I believe is the right decision most of the time, but Aqua has really wanted to have the goal be scored on the air dribble. And that is honestly an adjustment he likely needs to make if he wants to start getting some more goals. Wiz, he's just scoring too many of these kickoffs from the left side. This time, Aqua will demo him. Minute 30. Uh, Aqua doesn't have to score right here, but it really feels like he might need to. Nice save from Wiz. A great fake, but just outside the post. Wiz using up every last bit of his boost to get to this ball. Another great situation for Aqua. If he cannot convert these into goals, it might spell the end of this match for Aqua RL, or RL Aqua, I should say. His flick saved away. Minute left to go. Every second that counts off the clock is in favor of Wiz. A long clear. Aqua should have the boost control. Yeah, Wiz, absolutely nothing. So once again, another long field open opportunity. Aqua just take it straight to the net. Yeah, he's going to. I'm surprised he didn't even flick it immediately. Wiz flying so far away from the ball, deciding to go get midfield boost. It's not even there. <laughs> Wiz took a detour to midfield boost, and it's not even there. Definitely a free goal for Aqua. The problem is Aqua needs the kickoffs to go in his favor at the end of this game. And he has not been getting kickoffs consistently. Double flip reset for Wiz. And uh, Wiz wants to make it interesting. Handing over a free goal for Aqua. Aqua will take it. 28 seconds left to go. Wiz up one. Aqua needs a good kickoff. Will he mix it up? No, he's going to keep it. Run of the mill, and why not? He'll be rewarded. Aqua has worked his way back with 24 seconds left to go. Will Wiz regret going for the double flip reset? That will be decided in the next 24 seconds. Ooh, Wiz. Changing up the kickoff there a little bit. You can see the way he pulled away from it. Aqua so lethal in these situations. Gets the flip reset. Saved away. Could not get the touch he wanted. Long shot from Wiz. There it is. Wiz lethal. If you come at him on defense, you have to put a great shot. And that shot was just fine. So Wiz saves it away. Able to get the counter for his seven. So 12 seconds left until Wiz... Gets his second win of the next gen season two. Sending Aqua to play a Zapdos. Both those two may be playing for their lives in that matchup. And Wiz will take it three to one. GG's. Here we go. Wiz the Greek versus Aqua. What a performance from Aqua in game number three. Truly an insane performance from him. The problem, it seems like we're going to need to see another godlike performance to take Wiz down. Wiz is playing so consistently, so well. Aqua has need to pull out, you know, one of the better 1v1 games we've seen just to take him down. Nice air dribble from the corner. 
and Wiz will get the first of this game number four. A great catch and carry. Aqua not able to get the read on that play fast enough. Cannot retreat in time. Wiz trying to take control of these kickoffs again in game number four like he's done so well. Aqua tapping to the corner. Putting himself up against that ball as soon as he can to make sure that Wiz does not take it away. Nice touch and Aqua. Can the man score without doing a musty? Who knows? But another great setup. He's so good at canceling it. He, this is what makes a player great at a mechanic like this. He knows when to bail on it. He knows when the musty is not the play anymore and he needs to just cancel it and turn it into an air dribble. And he does it so perfectly. Wiz gets the slight save, but Aqua able to finish the play and he's gonna lose his life here. Should be an easy touch for a player as good as Wiz. Not a bad spawn for Aqua, but not good enough. Aqua, oh no, that hurts, man. Wizard made a mistake and basically left Aqua with a wide open net, but he did not take the 50. Oh no, instead it's gonna go the other way. It's gonna be so hard to forget this moment if this game ends up being close. Wiz tapping one out where Aqua could take what seemed like a very free open net and instead not able to score and then ends up giving away a goal the other way to Wiz to go up 3-1 and now 4-1 with the next kickoff. What could have been a lead for Aqua, or I should say at least a tie game for Aqua, has gone completely the other way. Wiz, a weak flicked. Aqua able to get a save high, and I think he might have the boost advantage. Set himself up at the top of his net to try and make a save. Wiz in a really awkward spot. Aqua loves to air dribble it to beat him out, and a nice threaten of the dribble, or sorry, the bump, I should say, gets him that second. Three minutes, 13 seconds left to go. Aqua, oh my goodness, can he pull this one online? Flip reset, oh no! When you don't get the acceleration on it that you need, you usually end up getting scored on the other way, but a great recovery. Both these guys sitting with very, very low boost, and I think they know it, but Wiz, the first to grab 100. We've seen a couple weak flicks from Wiz now near that goal line. Aqua going for that flip reset, a little bit too low to the ground. Not able to turn it into anything. These guys trading back and forth. Possession, neither one of them really taking a good strike on net. That was the first real shot we've seen and definitely not a good enough one as Wiz will take it back the other way. Aqua maybe just getting a little impatient. Wanted to see a shot on net before it was too long and uh, ended up putting in a weak one that Wiz can very easily tap away. Halfway through this game, 5-2. Aqua not been able to pull back a win from a Wiz lead. Has to do it right now. Life on the line in this first match of the next gen for him. Couldn't hurt to even just pull another game off of Wiz. Every game matters, especially in those tiebreaker situations. We had a tiebreaker, a three-way tiebreaker. Uh, no, a two-way tiebreaker, I should say. So maybe, maybe that's not interesting in the Fear 500, but only the top two move on from pool play this time around, not all three. We are really trying to incentivize winning every game you possibly can in pool play. Wiz, the 50 outside the net of Aqua. Not going to cut it. Great defense from Aqua. This is the first time, I was about to say this is the first time that Aqua has not tried to milk the air dribble all the way to the net. It seemed like he was going to let it come to the ground and make a play from there, which I believe is the right decision most of the time, but Aqua has really wanted to have the goal be scored on the air dribble. 
And that is honestly an adjustment he likely needs to make if he wants to start getting some more goals. Wiz, he's just scoring too many of these kickoffs from the left side. This time, Aqua will demo him. Minute 30. Uh, Aqua doesn't have to score right here, but it really feels like he might need to. Nice save from Wiz. A great fake, but just outside the post. Wiz using up every last bit of his boost to get to this ball. Another great situation for Aqua. If he cannot convert these into goals, it might spell the end of this match for Aqua RL, or RL Aqua, I should say. His flick saved away. Minute left to go. Every second that counts off the clock is in favor of Wiz. A long clear. Aqua should have the boost control. Yeah, Wiz, absolutely nothing. So once again, another long field open opportunity. Aqua just take it straight to the net. Yeah, he's going to. I'm surprised he didn't even flick it immediately. Wiz flying so far away from the ball, deciding to go get midfield boost. It's not even there. <laughs> Wiz took a detour to midfield boost, and it's not even there. Definitely a free goal for Aqua. The problem is Aqua needs the kickoffs to go in his favor at the end of this game. And he has not been getting kickoffs consistently. Double flip reset for Wiz. And uh, Wiz wants to make it interesting. Handing over a free goal for Aqua. Aqua will take it. 28 seconds left to go. Wiz up one. Aqua needs a good kickoff. Will he mix it up? No, he's going to keep it. Run of the mill, and why not? He'll be rewarded. Aqua has worked his way back with 24 seconds left to go. Will Wiz regret going for the double flip reset? That will be decided in the next 24 seconds. Ooh, Wiz. Changing up the kickoff there a little bit. You can see the way he pulled away from it. Aqua so lethal in these situations. Gets the flip reset. Saved away. Could not get the touch he wanted. Long shot from Wiz. There it is. Wiz. Lethal. If you come at him on defense, you have to put a great shot. And that shot was just fine. So Wiz saves it away. Able to get the counter for his seven. So 12 seconds left until Wiz... Gets his second win of the next gen season two, sending Aqua to play a Zapdos. Both those two may be playing for their lives in that matchup. And Wiz will take it three to one. GG's.